hey guys welcome back so today in this video we are going to see about how to add a show more or less functionality in read only grids so in grid what happens that sometimes we have to show a lot of data in the grid but to show this much of data our grid sometimes get gets distorted as well now the user want that we can have a show more or less condition so that the grid can become a bit less clutterless so we add this show more and less function what this functionality does is that if you click on the more button it will give you the complete sentence data here and if you click on less only that particular part will get shown like whatever the minimum threshold that you have set there okay any row of data you click on that and it will show you the complete set of data else it will show you the less data only okay so this is the like the most usual use case we will see another use case as well like where we have array of data for example if we have two names just then no link is there to, to see more additional data but if names are more than two so here you can see we have added a functionality so that if we will be able to get other names as well apart from the first two names so here you can see we have three names we have four names so we have the link to get more data otherwise there is no link at all so that's what we are going to see so let's get started on that part so here you can see here I have taken a unnamed interface here and in that I have created my own local data here. I have not querying data any from any record type. I am just creating a map of data and then I am referring that data in my uh, grid field there. So you can see I have created two columns as of now one for ID one for description. That's it. See and here we have to add the functionality of show more or less in the description field here. So first of all we have to create a local variable for the grid don't make the mistake of creating any local variables outside as a kind of global variables you can say no don't create these variables if it is a, if you are going to use for each row for the data you have to create the locals within the grid field only so what I will do here is local bank row data one variable will be row data where I am going to store the basic raw data or whatever it is present there so in the grid field you can see here in the description only all the data is stored here so I've just copied that particular data here so now we don't need this data here after that we need a show more or less condition as well so what i will do here is i will add here local bank show more and initially keep this variable false as of now nothing is required okay and we will also create a value for threshold here so threshold is let's say going to be 15 characters okay now now comes the part where we have to add the our particular conditions here so what we will do here is we will add an if condition here if so if length of local bank row data see here i have stored that in my local here so i don't have to refer every time every bank row so if length of this one is greater than local bank threshold okay so if it is greater than threshold then it should show here a rich text display field and the value of this one is going to be a rich text item and let's take the text as f okay it will be local bank row data that's it so as of now you can see here okay let me just copy and paste it once again here that's it so you can see here as of now nothing is showing here okay and now this rich text we will make it a list here so this is going to be a list of data and see here in this data what we want that if it is greater than threshold limit then we are not going to show all data we will show only 15 characters there so what we want here is this much of data local bank threshold that's it why see here here we have shown only the few data that is needed here so left function will from the left hand side it will calculate the 15 characters and it will give you that particular data only now here we will add an if condition here so 
if condition is going to be if local bank show more is true let's say like show more somebody has click on true so i don't want to use the left function i just want to show the complete row data here i don't want any limit at all okay if it is true but now we need a link to make it true so in order to make the link what we will do here is let's me just copy it here and we will add another one just below that and here the text is going to be uh, we will add here space dot 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 that's it and let's copy it one more time i'm just making multiple rich text items so that we can work on a bit less conditions that's all so and here we will add here more and this more is only going to act as a link for us so this is going to be our dynamic link and what is going to be the link here so in the link we will use here a a bank save and the target is going to be local bank show more and it will make it true okay and if it is true it should show us the complete data see here if it becomes true then this condition is getting executed so it actually it is greater than threshold so this condition will get executed here and here in the text it is one more condition that local bank show more if it is true then show the complete row of data otherwise it should show the less data only that's it and uh, let's make a show in condition for this as well so show more now see actually it has shown the complete data then why to show the more at all okay so in order to hide it what we will do here is show more has become true so it should show only when it is not true so not of or of local bank show more that's it see or of show more you understood very well okay and not means if it is show more is true then it will become false and same so when condition we will just copy it and paste for this dot 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 as well that's it and now dot 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 will also not show if you click on more here it will also work fine so in for the test purpose what we will do let's decrease this one here okay let's decrease the character limit for it and now let's try to test it out that how does it work this more should not show at all click on test interface and see here this is a test data this is it is showing and there is no link to show additional data at all but after showing the additional data we need one more link so that we can see less data as well okay because user won't have this test button as of now in the ui we can create we can click on test button but user needs a link so what we will do just copy this more part here okay and let's paste it here and instead of more we will get here less and here we will try to paste false and here we will remove that show when because more and less is going to have opposite conditions that's why click on less data and you are able to see less click on more you are able to show more and click on less you are able to see less data here so that's how the basic functionality of this one works here okay so basically we have to create a variable to store the data then create a show more functionality which will hold true or false and then set a threshold limit let's say like i will set a threshold limit of 20 characters here and now click on test so see here more data is now showing here and if you click on more then complete data will show now if i click here two characters only click on test earlier if you see here this was not showing link but now it is showing the link okay and then you can see more or less here that's why we create a one more local to have a threshold here as well so that we can control how many characters we want to see dynamically okay one condition you will make it other place it will reflect automatically next functionality is very important so next functionality okay so let's create another grid column but i won't uh, tell you from the scratch here so what we will do here is we will have an overview about that okay local bank user names and the value is going to be what so let's create a local variable and see basically whatever the things that we have done here same thing we will do here as well for example let's collapse this one and see local bank row data and it will be array row data okay and it will store fv bank row dot what is the value of that one array a double r that's it this is the row data and now we need a show more as well so local bank array show more i have created so that the names don't mismatch with each other okay and local bank threshold also so let's say like i want to show two or three data as well local bank 
threshold that's it so threshold is going to be 2 okay as of now that's it so we have to show the initial data as well local bank initial because this is an array of data so we will take here index of data here and index is going to be local bank array of row data and we want one and two element that's it see we can enumerate over this threshold as well so that's completely fine or i have just kept it one comma two that's why and now what is the next step we have created all the locals that we have needed and now it is the time to create a, our if conditions here so let's see the if so if length okay because it is array so length is for the text part and length is for the arrays so if length of what if length of local bank array row data is greater than what local bank threshold so if it is greater than threshold then it should have this rich text display field otherwise it should have the other rich text display field that's it okay so i hope so it is showing fine now target is missing 82 line number somewhere here okay so now user names we have to show here so how we can show it let's keep the value here and here we will add a for each because for each array value we want to show the data so the items is going to be what local bank array row data okay or initial we will keep it initially okay and in the expression let's go there and write a rich text item and the text is going to be what it will be fv bank item that's it and after that see here so if it is greater than 2 so in the data if we go so here you can see here 4 array of data here here we have 2 items here we have 4 items in this particular array and in this array we have 3 items here that's why this John and Claire is showing here why why not for this particular array it is showing it is 2 data only see 2 we have kept it as a threshold and if you go in the console and write here 2 is greater than 2 it will give you false okay because 2 is not greater than 2 okay and here as well same for each and the same concept we will try to use in this particular part as well here so value and paste it here that's it and see now you are able to see all the john and clear but after that we need to show one more part that is the comma because right now there is no comma at all so we will add a bit of comma here so now you can see here after john and clear you can see a comma as well appearing here after john and clear this comma is there after that we will add more but more let's try to avoid adding within the loop because for each array it will now show here so more we will keep it outside of the loop only we will keep it here rich text item and the text is going to be what uh, it will be more okay that's it and it should have a link as well okay and link is going to be dynamic link and why it's breaking okay i guess we are not still outside the loop here so cut it from here okay and this is the value okay and this is the for each is ending here so let's have it here more so here you can see more is appearing because it is having more than two values here and let's go to the dynamic link here save and a bank save target is going to be array show more and it will make it there true that's it and okay so if it is true then it should show here complete list of the data other than this one here so in this for each here again let's write a condition here like if it is true then what it should do here so if local bank show array show more is true then it should show the complete data array row data okay otherwise you should show the initial data only so if i keep it here true here you can see all the array values are appearing here and now we need a less condition as well so same copy we will do for this one and paste it here and instead of more let's add it here less and here let's keep it here false that's it and click on test ha huh. and see both are appearing at the same time that's why we need a show when condition so let's add a show when more should show uh, when or of local bank 
एरे शो मोर इज ट्रू नो इट इज नॉट इट शुड नॉट बी ट्रू देन मोर शुड बी शोन सो लेट्स कीप इट हियर एंड हियर एज वेल वी नीड अ शो विन कंडीशन सो जस्ट कॉपी इट हियर एंड लेट्स पेस्ट इट हियर इन एंड लेट्स रिमूव द नॉट फ्रॉम हियर click on test so if you click on more here a more will be shown if you click on less then less names you can get it here more and less so basically this is the overall functionality if you want more clarity uh, okay over this for example this is not showing any spaces at all if it is uh, two names it is there why because here in the other other loop uh, false condition see there are two rich text here if it if it is greater than 2 then it is having this rich and this, this one we have completely formatted otherwise it should have a separate rich text and we here we have not formatted so let's paste it here and uh, okay so what we will do here is here we will add a bit of a space and a comma as well that's it see here and comma if you see here at the last element as well there is one more comma we have to remove that particular comma as well so we will see here if condition we will add if fv bang is last so if it is the last element then it should not show otherwise it should show the comma there so that's what so here click on test and same show when we have to add for this particular rich text as well here we have somewhere this one comma paste it here that's it and here now your particular use case is ready so this was the sentence part more and less here if you click on more you will get all the array if you click on less you will get less number of values in the array as well so this is an important functionality and it is often used in the read only grids so it is going to be very helpful for you okay so that was all for now thank you